Welcome, welcome, welcome to my forensic studio. Come on in, grab a cup of coffee. I'm going to show you some crazy side the sun stuff. Okay, I'll be right back. Now, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know I have this thing called the Phil Files. Phil's a man that just started sending me pictures of his, telephone, his telescope shots beside the sun, blocks out the sun on the left, or what we call the sun or sun simulator, and he shows you the different types of uh, lens flares they're using to block this type of debris you see him flying by. This is the first time. Now, are they meteorites? Are they spaceships? Or is it space? Dust. I don't know if there is space dust, but it, to me, they're strange, right? So, I want to show you what's beside the sun in real time. Hang on, and I'll do some forensic on it, all right? Subscribe, like, push the thumbs up. I'm going to start this out with showing you what many times you would say, you know, what is this behind the sun? Is it planets? And I'd say, well... I'll show you. I've made a few videos from JPL showing the Star Simulator. What you're looking at the red is just the lens flares made by the Sun Simulator. Now it sounds crazy, but see this right here? It's a type of satellite throwing light. <clears throat> the whole thing is to diffuse the light, bend the light, to hide objects like I just showed you around the Sun. Um, that Phil showed you, right? Now look at this object right here. So, I try not to call stuff planets so easy no more. Um, because you can see the artificial lighting they're using. They're projecting lens flares, just like Phil shows you. To hide um, debris, rocks, you see those asteroids or whatever they were. As you can see right here, I'm showing you with the forensic tool, like this is an object, this is like a piece of a satellite or something. Um, if you just look at it normally, you know, I'm using this thing called sweep. If you look at it normally, you would say, oh, it's just a lens flare on your camera, but it's not. It's just like the round, lit it up one is not a lens flare. It's an actual another satellite that's shining onto the whole confusion. See, what they do is they just obfuscate the heck out of it. So you can't see the, the real asteroids going behind. Let me show you again. Now, as much as I'd like to tell you that's just, um, you know, Planet X and it's a planet and all that, I'm, I'm not going to tell you the truth. This is absolutely a device they use, a simu uh, number of simulators they use. Sometimes it misaligns and you get the flower shapes. I actually have a video in my library probably about a year and a half ago um, of following what looked like a um, UFO up into the sky and it opened up with this red so you have the red red flower. <clears throat> but now I see up here there's a ring. I've showed you a couple videos where they use a ring. It almost opens up like a satellite dish. But this is whatever you see is superimposed on the sky. So it's not this big. I mean these things are size of you know large refrigerators, these satellites, and they project this light and they do this little show for you. But down there on the left on that bluish beam of light there, that is some type of Thing I've never seen before. This thing I'm going to show you right now is called um, a level sweep. <clears throat> I'm going to intensify it and you're going to see what's real, uh, what's lenses, you know. So what they're hiding is debris. Uh, I'm going to show you this other shot here in a second of what they're hiding. And this guy caught a perfect shot in the desert at night. He's a time-lapse photographer and 
Took him about eight shots to get this. He got a couple uh, really good shots. And what they do is the camera actually puts them together so it's one outlay or overlay. And you can see what the whole sky was looking like. That's how they get those beautiful auroras, right? So this is just showing you what's real, what's not. It's just smoke and mirrors. If your eyeballs could see like that, you wouldn't look up no more. I'd be too freaked out. <laughs> But I kind of see that way because I've been doing this so long. But anyways, there it is, forensic. Let me show you that picture, and I'll be back. See, behind all those smoke and mirrors, folks, this is what's actually going on. This guy caught a perfect picture, and this smoke and mirrors is all exposed. Now, I can sit here and show you the best red planets behind the sun, or what we think is the sun, sun simulator all day long, but I'd rather tell you the truth. Um, I've lost a lot of people when I first started doing this, and I got to the point where, you know, institution, space institution, right, NASA, they built this device called Starshade. And this is what they're hiding, folks. And uh, it's time to wake up. So show it to a few people. And they, they tag you crazy. At least you go out saying, I told my family. They might have said I was crazy, but I told them it was coming. All kinds of debris coming. I showed you that. Keep watching. I'm going to show you more. I'm just trying to let you in on the truth real slowly, but today I'm going to just kind of slap you with a bucket of ice water. Now Phil Files, he always shows me this light like this, and I go, you know, I don't understand. Now I totally understand it. It's another satellite pushing light. Um, I personally think they got this one all wrong. It's all misaligned. Um, I went on the JPL site. NASA puts up, you know, and they show you the whole sun simulator opening up and pedestals. The reason they get the pedestals is because of the edges, you'll learn, if you go check it out yourself. The edges are not as sharp as they need to be. Now this device right here, I do not know what it is, I haven't seen it before. Um, that device I've seen a few times and you guys have seen it, I just showed you a picture of it screaming. And that's what you're seeing. It's a whole show, it's called Smoke and Mirrors. Keep watching. Subscribe right now, thumbs up. Share with the friend. Share the channel with the friend. No, we're not crazy. We're just awake. You know, you took the you took the, the red pill and bam, now you're seeing red <laughs> all over the sky. But this this little uh, device I'm using tells you what's metal, what's a uh, light. You know, it, you know how to read it. Um, I'm not gonna teach a class on it. It's too hard to teach. But it shows you what's real, what's metal, what's light. Pretty amazing. I call it the forensic show.